All right, let's review solving for a quadratic inverse. This will be our last little video. I'm going to solve for the quadratic inverse. We're going to follow the same steps, steps as we did for the linear. So I'm going to call that y, and we're going to switch it. x equals 2y squared plus 10. Now to solve this for y, we have to get rid of the numeric terms first. So we're going to subtract the 10 to undo that. So it's going to be x minus 10 equals 2y squared. Um, the next thing we want to do is divide by that 2 out front. So we're going to divide all sides by 2, the whole thing. And that's going to give you y squared equals x minus 10 over 2. Now when you're square rooting it, you have to square root the entire side. So you don't just do the x minus 10 you do the x minus 10 over 2 all under the square root. So we know square root cancels out a square. So it's going to be the square root of x minus 10 over 2 equals y. And that's going to be here, um, c. And we can check that in Desmos as well. So say y equals 2x squared plus 10. And then go down to the, the next line and reverse the x and y. So you can see what that sideways parabolas are. Now, no, it's not restricted on the domain. So when you put in your answer choice, so let's say I put in um, SQ, SQRT is the square root, uh, fraction bar x minus 10 over 2. It's only going to give you the top half because it's a square root. It only does positives. But that's the only one that that lines up. If you do the other other answer choices, uh, let's do sqrt. Uh, hold on, set x minus ten, and then divide that by two, but put the two on the outside. They're not the same. And uh, if you go to the third one here, sqrt x over ten minus two, that's different. And then if you do the last one, sqrt x minus 5, that's off. So the only one that actually has any overlap is this one here, even though it's only the top part of it. So that's going to be your answer.